Welcome to day 33. First, today, I want you to relax your jaw. Uh huh. It's one of those things I forget to do all the time. I clench my jaw and it adds weird tension especially if you're trying to do something hard on the guitar for you right now that feels difficult and you forget to keep it easy and slow you'll develop this locked up tension in here so you can massage right here you think this is not guitar playing this guy is nuts well maybe but at the same time I'm good at the guitar so you have to at least accept that part so I can't be too crazy at least as far as practicing the guitar. So keep yourself relaxed right here. Just open up and just let it drop let it drop like like that, right? So we're gonna do that again. And at the same time, you wanna just let your shoulders do that. So I have this bad habit where my shoulders go up like this. I think that started when I was pretty young. Tension and things like that, environmental stresses. So you wanna don't let that get to you and you wanna drop shoulders so when you're playing instead of being like this because you'll get sore try to keep some kind of a comfortable posture you don't have to be like a superman po you don't have to be like this but somewhere where you're not hurting yourself for too long in one position right but keep your shoulders relaxed and your jaw relaxed and believe it or not it'll start propagating its way throughout the rest of your body including your fingers and your arms so you won't be so tense when you're playing you want to be the relaxation and you have to maintain that all around whatever you're doing so again have some tea just like I like to do and take a nice relaxing breath and a couple maybe a couple of them in just a moment to realize this is something that you like doing and it's a good good time to practice your guitar and nothing else is going to get in your way. And it's not that long. You only practice for as long as you could do every day. It doesn't have to be a crazy marathon. It could be a couple short practices a day. Uh, it becomes kind of addictive, if you haven't noticed by now. I think it's worth doing. All right, let's get started. going to go low, high, middle, low, middle, high. High, low, middle, high, middle, low. So that's a pretty cool phrase. All right, let's take this nice and slow with a hundred beats per minute, like we like to start with, nice and comfortable. One, two, ready, go. Let's one, two, ready, go. All right, let's go sets of sixteen. Two, ready, go. Let's move the triplet across the strings. One, two, ready, go. Let's do sets of 16 across two. One, two, ready, give it your best.
Oh, hang on a second here. I wanted to mention, let me kill my metronome here. Um, I wanted to mention how I'm able to do this stuff without messing up on the string changes as much as I typically would expect people to do. Here's what happens, watch this. You might notice I'm not doing this, I'm going like that. Because what happens is now my index finger is already in position. So I'm ending with the middle of my finger instead of the tip because then the tip is on the B string ready to start. See how that how that works? So if I want this doesn't matter because my finger's freed up, but if you're using the same finger consecutively, index finger, I plant it, I overplant it, so then it's already on the B string. If I went like this, I'd have to lift it to get to the B string, which can make some noise. Which is harder than that, and then it's already in the place. That's a really, really, really good tip. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen before, and that's how I'm able to play very clean string changes at high tempos without getting all weird and making mistakes or slowing down or any of that stuff. At least at a moderate time. If I go super duper fast, then I just make mistakes as I haven't practiced as much as I should have, and that's on that's my fault. So don't be like me. Well, be like me for the most part, but um, when you notice that there's something you want to do and you're having trouble, instead of recording a bunch of guitar lessons, you should practice it too. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. <laughs>